What just happened? So this was Top Secret Drum Corps Stay at Home Challenge. However, Top Secret does not have a tenor line, so instead of just playing the snare part, I decided to write a whole tenor part to this. Oh, did I say I? I, I meant uh, these mysterious masked men here. Yeah, they could be anybody. They wrote the tenor part. So now all of you tenor players can also join in on the Stay at Home Challenge. Okay, so I'm gonna break down all these beats, but first I have some very sad news. Masked guy here, he is, a, oh, wait, that's not masked guy. Yeah, that guy's mask guy. Yeah, you gotta be able to tell the difference. Mask guy is very, very sick with a case of mascositis. Oh man, very serious, very legitimate. The only cure is if he takes off his mask, but he can't do that until we reach 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you click that subscribe button. We start off this lick with a good old fashioned flam drag, followed by one of these west coast arounds as I like to call it, where you're crossed over but only one hand is actually moving, followed by another flam drag into a sweep pattern into paradiddle diddles, and finishing off with a stick flip. This part is a little bit difficult, which is why I gave it a score of 7 out of 10 on the difficulty scale, but I do think if you know your rudiments that you can figure this part out. Now you may be getting all excited thinking you can actually play this whole thing. Well, <laughs> just check out this next part. This part is stupidly hard, alright? I can barely even play it. I mean, <laughs> Mask Guy can play it really well and make it look easy. Like, he's just so good. So you are going to need a very, very good double stroke roll, single stroke roll, and paradiddle diddle rudiments. And not only that, you need to have excellent fluid motion around the drums because all those rudiments just move all over the place. So if you can't play this, then I recommend learning it way, way slower. Maybe like 60 beats per minute. And then over the course of like three years, work it up to 100. And, 10, and then come back and play it again at tempo. So we start out with a tap roll with some inward helicopter figure eight scrapes, followed by another series of inward scrapes moving around the drums. Then we go into another one of these West Coast around single stroke roll, right hand moves all around, left hand stays on drum three. Then we got paradiddle diddle West Coast arounds. Once again, the right hand moves while the left hand stays on drum three for most of that. Ending with one last scrape, crescendoing down the drums. I wish you all luck with this part and try not to hurt yourself. Okay, so here we have the tenor feature where the snares stop playing and do some visuals. Now remember this wasn't written for tenors at first, but I felt like this was as good as a place as any to write an exposed tenor break. Uh, did I say I again? I, I mean the, these guys, yeah, could, they could be anybody. So this starts out with your good old fashioned blangadang, leading into some loopy grandmas, which is a grandma where you cross over. Yes, I just made that up. Copyright EMC Productions. Then we got a wagga wagga wang, into these Swiss army triplets, where the right hand is doing sweeps underneath of the left hand, ending with a Spock roll into the rim shot. So even though this is the tenor feature, this is a little bit easier than the part that just happened. Okay, when I was writing this, I wanted it to be a little bit tastier and less choppy. Uh, did I say I? Uh, yeah, these guys. Yeah, they wrote it, not me. These guys. So if you haven't noticed by now, this whole thing is insanely hard. All right, the sweep thing was the hardest part, and then this is the second hardest part for now. All right, we're only about halfway through it. So we start off with one of these offset flam taps into a paradiddle five. Make sure you skank this note right here on the of beat three. Then the next bar is just flam madness. There's like a thousand left hand flams in a row. I mean, we got the west coast arounds where the right hand just stays on drum one, but the left hand goes all over the place. So in order to play this properly, you will need a really good single stroke roll. Now, there are no single stroke rolls in this, but having fast singles chops will definitely help you get these fast flams as well. Then we end out the bar with a herta, and then a couple of flam tap sweeps over two whole drums. So yeah, really difficult, very, very choppy, but it only gets worse from here. That 
Ah, I gotcha, this part's actually the easiest part in the whole thing, but it's still pretty freaking hard. Starts out with a sweep pattern, going into a slower sweep pattern. Then we got these double stops. Once again, having a good single stroke roll will help you with these other rudiments. And for these double stops, you might want to use a little bit of the molar technique to pop these tenuto accents out slightly. And then we got a hurta to end out the bar. All right, let's see what other easy parts we came up with next. So this may not be the hardest part chop wise, but it is definitely the hardest part timing and editing wise. Cause yeah, to be authentic with this, you're gonna need to split screen yourself three times and you gotta place these splits in there perfectly. I made a split screen tutorial recently. If you wanna figure out how to do this, go watch that video. I'll leave a link in the description. So each of these split parts is eighth note based and each of the three players has two split parts in this whole bar, both being 30 second note double stroke rolls. The beginning rim shot is a unison and the five stroke stroke roll at the end is also a unison. And yeah, it's gonna be hard to get this timing down if you don't have the other people playing with you. Cause remember, this is a stay at home challenge, right? Don't bring other people to your house and don't go to other people's house. Stay at home, do it by yourself. Wear a mask, be a weirdo. But if you don't feel like going through all that effort, there is an alternate part. So yeah, if you're not brave enough to take on the split screen, you could just play this. It's kind of a stock sweep pattern, just outs and then ins. But it sounds very, very similar to what the split part sounds like. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. Oh man, so much stuff, so many things to talk about, so many details to define with these two bars. So the first bar, these rhythms are pretty easy. The sticking and arounds are what make this very difficult. Just make sure you're paying close attention to which notes are crossed over. This little circular not filled in note, that means that hand is over top and it switches constantly. By the way, literally everyone asks how I do that in MuseScore. You just select a note and then go over here and click half note and that's it, pretty easy. Then the last two and a half bars, this is pretty much just as hard as that ridiculous sweep at the beginning. You have all kinds of crossovers, pretty much just a helicopter figure eight pattern, but it goes around the drums. Then the last beat and a half is singles with this pattern known as a suicide. Oh my goodness. So that is just when you cross and uncross every single note in the singles pattern. And there is an extremely high risk of clicking your sticks together or hitting a rim or getting your stick stuck in the dreaded crevice in between the drums. So you're gonna need to practice this one a lot and get consistent with your playing zones in order to not go into the crevice. Charlie, don't go in the crevice. I'm going to the crevice, don't go in the crevice. <laughs> This sticks in is the hardest part of this whole thing. And I'm not even joking. Like I had to practice this part more than the rest of it. There's nothing more frustrating than playing the whole thing perfect and then screwing up the sticks in. So you gotta redo the whole thing. It is very important that you take notice of the technique required in this sticks in. It is not your normal sticks in. See, nope, not like that. You will keep your hands crossed when you bring the sticks in, then flip your right hand over and slam them down on drum three. Yeah, you're gonna need to work on this for several hours to get it right. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave the link for the free sheet music in the description. In that same folder will also be this adjusted video where you can put yourself right here in the top left corner to play with all seven of us. If you take on this insane challenge, don't forget to tag me as well as Top Secret Drum Corps and Flam 5 Drumming. I'll also leave the link to the original video so you can take on the snare drum part if you'd rather do that. And don't forget to click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I'll leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.